wildfires in Canada, flooding in Libya, two disasters and a year of weather extremes. 2023 will go down as the hottest year on record. Every month from June through November was the hottest for that time of year. July 2023 was the warmest July on record for the globe. It was the warmest July by a long shot. September's global temperatures were so much hotter than normal that one climate scientist called them absolutely gobsmackingly bananas. Relentless heating from human-driven climate change, plus the periodic global weather phenomenon known as El Nino, drove extreme weather around the world. So we know with this extra heat in the atmosphere, it brings with it extra energy, which means um, we get more intense extreme events. Not every bout of bad weather is due to climate change. But climate scientists, what the World Weather Attribution website, found the fingerprints of global warming on these weather disasters. In April, Thailand and Laos broke all-time high temperature records. Scientists say that heat wave was nearly impossible without climate change. The Western Mediterranean shattered temperature records that month in a heat wave made 100 times more likely. Southern Europe roasted again in July. So did China and the United States-Mexico border region. The southwestern U.S. city of Phoenix logged 31 days over 43.3 degrees Celsius, or 110 Fahrenheit. That's a record. This is not a record anyone wanted to break, but it's definitely one that people in Phoenix are not happy about. The intensity of these heat waves was almost impossible without climate change, according to World Weather Attribution. But on today's hotter planet, we can expect them every 5, 10, or 15 years. Higher temperatures dry out soils and vegetation faster. That helped make the record-breaking wildfires that ravaged eastern Canada this year at least seven times more likely and 50% more intense. That's also what amplified the severe droughts in Syria, Iraq, and Iran, and the food security crisis in Somalia and the rest of the Horn of Africa. Both were made at least 100 times more likely. Although Somalia makes virtually no contribution to climate change, the Somalis are among the greatest victims. Climate change intensifies droughts, but also floods, because warmer air holds more water, which means heavier rainstorms, like the one that burst dams in Libya in September and killed thousands. The World Weather Attribution Team says it was 50 times more likely and 50% more intense than it would have been without climate change. And November's torrential rains in the Horn of Africa were about twice as intense. Already the drought has brought many people in the area to the brink of what they are able to deal with. And this now followed by, by floods really shows the limits of what people can adapt to are really not far off in, in many parts of the world. And as long as we are keeping burning fossil fuels, these things will happen again and again and again. Forecasters say El Nino probably will taper off around the middle of next year, but there's no sign that climate change is letting up. As we continue to warm the planet, weather that used to be extreme is happening more and more often. Steve Barragona, VOA News.